Hey guys, how's it going? This is Alex Apple Help, and I'm really sorry, guys, that I have not uploaded any videos for the uh, past um, couple of months, I believe. Um, but the reason is that I have been really, really busy with my other channel and with homework and with all um, sorts of stuff. And on the first week of vacation, I went to the beach, and so I just came back yesterday, and I did not have any time to post a video. However, in today's video, guys, we'll be taking a look at how to create the Pleasantville effect in Final Cut Pro X10. So, if you're not familiar with the Pleasantville effect, pretty much it will allow you to f make the foreground one color and the background grayscale. So, for instance, my face can be one color and this jacket uh, can still be red and the background can be grayscale. And so, um, as you can see right now in the picture, that's how it looks like. So, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. Okay guys, so here we are in Final Cut Pro X10 and as you can see right here we will be using this clip of my iPod Touch with the background right here that is from my, uh, that it's a video for my other channel. So right away as you can see the iPod Touch is with the colors and the background does not have any color right there. And we just take the audio out and if we play it, as you can see even my fingers right here are on grayscale. And right here I'm just gonna go ahead and show you that it still maintains the grayscale even if it shows on the iPod touch so as you can see it is a pretty cool effect right there so guys let's go ahead and begin so we'll get rid of this and we'll just drag the clip again and as you can see right there it still has color right here so the first thing that you have to do is you have to create a new color um, color correction right here and you have to make a mask so right here if you click on the mask icon it'll create the circle however if you click on here you can manipulate it to the shape that you want and in this case we want a square and if you had like a face or something you you just you can keep it a square just make it to your liking and uh, so let's go ahead and make it a square and we can extend it just like that and so let's go ahead and quickly rotate it right here so that it goes perfectly on the iPod touch we can just um, make that a little bit smaller and let's just go ahead and make it a bit longer and it doesn't matter if it if this goes out a bit because it's out of the frame uh, so let's just make this a bit there we go that just looks perfectly fine and let's just close that a little bit there we go and so after that what you want to do is you want to go ahead and go into the second color correction go into saturation and just bring everything down and you want to make sure that you click the outside and as you can see right there that will actually well um first of all i'm really sorry just bring this back you have to click on the outside so that it only affects at the outside of the mask that we made and drag the saturation down and as you can see right off the bat, the uh, image goes to grayscale while still it maintains the color on the iPod Touch. However, uh, this may be enough for your footage. However, in my footage, as you can see, we have my finger, which when it goes into the frame, because I'm showing something on the iPod Touch, it keeps um, the color of the finger, which does not look nice. So we can fix that by creating another mask. And now we're going to go ahead and click the color mask. And so what we need to do is we need to select the color of the finger and just drag it out so that it uh, kind of fits the whole hand. And what we have to do is we need to go here and uh, go ahead and keep it on the inside and just drag the saturation down. And as you can see, it sort of fixes the problem, however, not completely. So what you want to do now is, uh, as you can see, we still have a little bit of color. You want to increase the intensity of the color, uh, as you can see right there. And you need to make sure that it does not uh, begin affecting other parts of your footage. So for instance, as you can see uh, right here, it's affecting a little bit when I drag the slider. So what also you can do is you, you can hold, um, which key was it? I believe it was you need to hold um, shift and you can add a, a little bit more of the color mask as you can see right there it shows a plus sign and just kind of do it to the parts of the footage that you see uh, that still have color so as you can see that looks pretty decent and um, now if we go ahead and kind of play through the footage as you can see the iPod touch still has colors and the background has no color so it is grayscale and for some reason it did not apply that 
so uh, I think I accidentally click on something so let's just go ahead and play it again and as you can see we still have a little bit of color down uh, if I can eventually go to that frame there we go so just zoom a little bit as you can see we still have some color so we need to click the bigger uh, the color mask tool and just go ahead and do it just like that again click on fit and just keep doing that guys until you like the result so now it does look pretty decent as you can see the hand is grayscale and all of the icons on the iPod touch and the iPod touch itself is with color so that uh, did work perfectly fine but so yeah, is that that's all there is to it and in some cases you will have to do two color masks for instance if I would want uh, this phone right here to be with color I would just have to create another mask just like I did with the iPod touch so it's a pretty basic thing how every does take some time to get it right so thanks for watching this video I really hope you did enjoy it and so if you did enjoy it please consider subscribing down there guys as it would help the channel out a lot as well as clicking that little thumbs up button to make uh, so that I can keep making our videos and also please leave my comment down below what you think about this effect guys and i hope you have an amazing day thanks for watching bye bye